What's going on guys? In today's video, we are doing part one of a three part series. And that is three days and three trails at Zion National Park. So let's go. Intro. So this trail, we're gonna take e-bikes on the mm -hmm. Zion Canyon Perus Trail. If I can do it, you can do it. So come go with us. Let's go. So we took our spring break down to St. George, Utah and went to Zion National Park. Beautiful, never been there before, totally stoked about it. And we did a little bit of research before and decided on the three trails we wanna do. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and disappoint some of you right off the bat. One of them is not Angel's Landing. <laughs> we will go back and Jarrett and I may attempt that, but it wasn't something we wanted to take our kids on the first time. Um, and the things we've heard and being so crowded up there at the top with the chains, we just didn't want to attempt that yet. Um, but the trails we did go on were just as amazing, I think, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. It was a good time. So, But this one, um, we're going to take you on a little e-bike tour. Mm -hmm. uh, about 15 miles up to stop five where the lodge is and take you back it was a really great experience seven miles up well 15 miles right, round right so we went over spring break which was third week of march for us here in idaho mm -hmm. and we feel like the timing was pretty good to go to zion now it's our first time but we've watched videos and heard how crowded this park can be especially in the summer and i think i was a little bit Sorry. surprised you tired? Yeah, sorry. I think I was a little bit surprised that it wasn't as crowded as we thought. It was crowded, but maybe not like what we had heard. <clears throat> well, the first the first day we got there was Sunday, and we like we rolled in. And there's like a parking spot right up front. We got there about eight thirty. Mm, we're like, sweet, this is we're like what they said parking was an issue. We parked like exactly where we wanted to park. Right by the bike rentals <laughs> at Zion Outfitters. Beautiful Sunday morning. This is Zion Outfitter, where we're gonna pick up our e-bikes. Zion Outfitter, if you're Googling that kind of stuff, looking for rental equipment, mm -hmm. it's right at the entrance of the park. Mm -hmm. You go through the little town of Springdale, which is really cute, mm -hmm. um, lots of shops and restaurants, but then Zion Outfitter is right at the entrance. And there's like, what, maybe two parking lots, they charge 30 bucks a piece a day. Yeah, it's no priority, it's not by the hour. It's 30 bucks, you can stay at midnight. Yeah, and it, it was very convenient if you can get a spot. Mm -hmm. And at 8.30... On a Sunday. On a Sunday in March, we did. Parked, I mean, we literally parked like 30 feet from the bikes. <laughs> they just gave us the rundown on what to do with the e-bikes. We rented four of them. I rented these about a week ago. They have plenty. And um, we're going to do the Canyon Scenic Drive. We have to wear helmets. Um, he told us about the eco settings. When you turn it on. And um, I don't really know what else to say about it. They've got helmets here that are required. The whole shed there is full of bikes and gear. And then this is where you, there's a pub right there, but this is where you also um, come in to rent your Narrows equipment. So pretty cool place. They're very helpful and they know exactly what to do and uh, where to tell you to go. Wasn't that big of a deal we called zion they said we have plenty of bikes you'll be fine if you want to book online or get it when you're here We're like okay great and when we got there they just wanted our confirmation that we booked them mm -hmm. they basically show them a copy of our email run do the rundown of how the bike works what buttons to push and when on what parts of the trail and give you a helmet and a lock for your bikes and send you on your merry way it's easier than you think when you're trying to book it all and like what are we doing where are we going it's all right there and they know exactly what they're doing this is a well-oiled machine <laughs> and they'll tell you where to go and how to kind of how to get there and yeah. what to expect so don't overthink this one okay let's see what we can get
any kind of hike, you always want to make sure you take the right stuff. So we got these nifty little backpacks with the little hydration packs in it, and then we got the girls' backpacks. Packed some snacks, jumped on our e-bikes, and off we went. You feel like that's a big long day to be out, and it is. It took us about four hours, um, but we stop and take pictures. But yes, you want to be well prepared and take snacks in your backpack, and definitely, this was our first time using those backpacks with the hydration packs. We're not like super pro triathlete hikers. We did really use those hydration packs. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for one, never used one before like us, a great beginner pack, we'll put the links in the description. They were both um, two liter bladders and held about two and a half bottles of water. Yeah, and then we gave our girls, um, they just took cheaper little backpacks, um, but we gave them each two bottles of water and it was mm. enough. Yeah. They used the polar bottles of water, not just the plastic bottle. We kept them cold for them. Yeah. Also bring your good attitude, especially if you're bringing teenagers. And make sure you pack extra patience. It's on, you can get it at Target. <laughs> it's on sale. <laughs>
But then once you get on the road with the buses, it's anybody's game. You better put that sucker in turbo or you're not going very far. <laughs> so it was the, the, the bikes, the, the pedal, the pedal assist bikes are really easy. They're a lot easier to ride than I thought they would be. Yeah. Now I will say the bikes you rent, full disclosure, if you ride on them all day, your keister is going to be sore the next day because the yeah. seats on those bikes are not good. Well, that's any bike. Well, that's a lot of bikes, but if you're not used to biking, your little booty will be sore. But they were about 95 bucks a piece, which we thought was like, do we really want to spend that? But yes, this was a trail to do, especially if you want to take a nice breezy bike ride with your family. Now they only rent 14 and up the e-bikes. So if you have younger kids, you probably can't do that, but Hold on. It was totally worth it. Hmm? You had to be 14 to rent one of those bikes? Yeah, Olivia was 14 that day. Let's go, Turbo. Let's go. Wow, you guys, this is so freaking amazing. I don't know if you could hear any of that from the GoPro that I was saying about going from eco mode to turbo mode on the e-bikes, but wow, what a difference. I don't think I could make it up here if it wasn't for turbo mode. Anyway, look at this, you guys. I can't believe the amazing views. There's a bus. They think they're picking us up. Okay, so the thing about the buses is um, they come very often. And they can pick up three bikes. So we have four. So we would have to split up and meet the next two people on the next bus. We were told they only have room for three. So maybe we'll check when we're ready to hop on. But I, I think it's only three. There you guys are. We wondered where you went. What's down there? Water. Is it pretty? Eh? <laughs> hey, pro tip, stay hydrated. Bring a durable water backpack. Check out this picture I took. Okay, let's see Jared's picture. Oh, you took lots. You know, these are like all together. So this is one for the Facebook page. Oh, nice, like that. <laughs> I think it's pretty. So we rode up to the lodge and stopped and they have this big lawn area where you can kind of take a break and picnic and then we actually attempted the lunch at the lodge and it was nothing to write home about. It wasn't bad, it wasn't gross, it was just... Well they just have pretzels and like, you know, that, that kind of fast food kind of stuff and honestly I, I feel like for Zion that lodge should have more healthy choices because aren't that's what we're there to do is like walk and bike and hike and exercise and be healthy right and so like we didn't want a hot dog or a burger or pretzels or nachos or and so that's just our tip pack your own snacks and sitting out on that lawn i mean there's nothing like it the mountains just come up over you it, it's absolutely gorgeous you get a little bit of cell phone service at the lodge if you need to make a call but you know really that's cell phone service is kind of at a premium up there once we got done eating lunch or our snacks and whatnot it was just a short easy bike ride back to the nice and breezy all the way back life is a winding road no telling where it goes driving through days and nights Stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will 
I'll keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down pretty much near the entrance and this little stream here is just beautiful but that campground over there looks amazing I mean those views can't be beat so this is near the visitor center right where you get on the shuttle to go in to wherever you want to go emerald pools angels landing any of that um, but Based on other videos we watched or, you know, blogs we read, um, it sounded like in the summertime, this is full of people. Um, but that's not the case this time of year, or at least right now. It's um, the week of March 19th, so that's when Idaho spring break is, and um, it's nice and cool and comfortable, and there were no lines for anything. So I don't know. Maybe we just picked a good day. <laughs> Just waiting on the rest of my family. I'm gonna have me a little granola bar and I was kind of wondering how my bladder was looking. Um, this two liter bladder of water, I think they call it a bladder, <laughs> um, held two and a half bottles of water. And it looks like I had about half for that whole bike ride. So not bad. Um, I just felt like I sipped here and there. I didn't chug a lug because <laughs> I was worried about bathrooms, but um, I feel perfectly hydrated and there was a bathroom at the lodge which was you know where we stopped and then headed back so all in all I think I did pretty good so this was our e-bike trail ride and hopefully you guys got something interesting out of it stick around because we'll do trail number two next see you next time life is a winding road 